We have the latest now on the state budget. It looks like some spending cuts that Governor Malloy had under his Plan B budget will go forward now, even after state labor unions agreed to some big concessions. But some other cuts have been taken off the table. News 8's Annie Rourke live at the state capitol tonight to sort it all out. Annie? Sonia and Darren, while the unions were debating over whether or not they wanted to ratify that offer from Governor Malloy, he was working on a Plan B. Well, now that Plan B is not needed, but they announced here at State Capitol today that many of those cuts will go through anyway. Now, CBAC, the unions, the state workers' union, did ratify the governor's office offer earlier this summer. They accepted cuts in wages, in health care, and in their pensions. But the governor is now adding to that today. They shared an additional $135 million in savings. They're things they say that do not harm the necessary services of state government. We're talking about things like shifting guard duties at prisons, telling state workers that they can't take cars home, changing the hours of some of the state buildings, even possible fare hikes to Metro North. Now, the goal is to hit $700 million total in spending cuts. Now, a lot of these savings will come, we're told, from attrition and retirement announcements, and they expect that this month they will have a lot more retirement announcements because after October 1st, it is not as nice a deal. So they do expect that a lot of state workers will be announcing this month that they will retire, and that in turn will boost up the savings. Again, they are going for $700 million total in spending cuts. Live in Hartford, Annie Rourke, News 8.